Hey there, everybody. Today in this video, I will be talking to you about the three psychedelic drugs I have uh, come in contact with and have experienced over the past two and a half years where that I have been uh, experimenting with my mind. Uh, those three are marijuana, uh, magic mushrooms, and DMT. Uh, all three of those are indeed um, psychedelics. Even marijuana is a psychedelic at a high dose. Um, it's not to the point where you see leprechauns and unicorns, but it is indeed a, a, a psychedelic. Um, well, first of all, I'll talk with marijuana since it is the lowest level psychedelic. Um, there's five levels to psychedelics. Uh, marijuana being number one. Um, you know, if you smoke pot enough, you will get to the point of uh, hallucinations, and I do that with a quote. Um, you don't really hallucinate as much as you do just... It's not like you see shit, really. It's more like you're sitting there, you can't really do anything but just observe everything. Everything is kind of just sort of distorted in a way, and it's kind of really just kind of hard to explain. I mean, I know when I've, the first time I've gotten to the point of uh, actually tripping on marijuana was I was sitting on a couch and I was just observing uh, my friends just talking, you know, and they were just kind of, it looked like a picture in a way. It just kind of like looked sort of in my mind like The Last Supper, um, that painting The Last Supper. Uh, it just sort of looked like that, you know. Everyone was just all around, everything just kind of stopped, and I kind of looked at it all as like an oil painting. And I've, like, uh, come to the point where I've sat there, I've closed my eyes, and I've kind of tuned out everything, and I've kind of just examined my, I've just examined myself, uh, voice crack there, sorry. Um, I've sat there, I've examined myself. Um, I've observed everything else, everything kind of just feels better, you know. I've tried to call my friend down because he gets kind of, like, fucking crazy when he's on, uh, when he's high on marijuana. But I started, like, talking about the balance of nature, and I started, like, moving my hands, and I could actually, like, feel energy being moved in my hands while I talked about it. So you just sort of get in this weird kind of, uh, zen state, I would, the best way to describe it, is you're just more of in a zen kind of, uh, state, state of mind, and that is essentially what a marijuana trip is like. Now, uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, magic mushrooms now. Magic mushrooms, I believe, is a class 3 hallucinogen. It's above salvia, which is a number, is a class 2. Um, magic mushrooms, if you take them, it's sort of like a, in, a much more intense high than pot, and you kind of reach it there without having to do a bunch of it. It's, you know, you just, you're sitting there, about 30 minutes after consuming them, you start getting kind of giggly, you start getting kind of giddy, you laugh, about, you laugh at everything for no reason. And like, the first time I did it, I was just kind of looking out at nature and shit, and that's the thing, you kind of, when you're high on mushrooms, you kind of feel more attached to nature. Of, of course, if you're out in nature. Um, it's definitely a naturistic kind of drug that you want to take. If you could call it a drug, anyway. Um, so, you and when you're on uh, mushrooms, you laugh at everything. Everything kind of feels more defined. Y you mean, like, s the sense of smell that you have? You just kind of smell things. And the smell's more intense, and it has, you could just smell all the different things. And you kind of, like, uh, sense how all of them have been combined to this one smell. And, um, feeling, uh, you, all your senses are just heightened in a, in a completely different way. And you start, like, feeling your skin, or, like, the carpet, or the ground, or the grass, or whatever your, whatever kind of texture, texture you're feeling. You could just you could just feel a way different. You could just feel every little 
nook and cranny or the smoothness of it. It's just really, really, really intense. You could feel all of the different textures in it. It's more de de defined. And, um, um, you kind of understand things better. Because when I was on it, I kind of under. Like, you know, I've ever thought, like, why is blue called blue? Why is red red? Why is green green? Well, those kind of questions are answered for some reason. Like, I'm just sitting there and I'm looking at the fucking grass. I'm like, that's why green's green, man. That's why. Because it's green. Just, you know, it just makes sense when you're on mushrooms. And, you I mean, you're not getting, like, uh, shot into these, like, uh, these different worlds with rainbows and unicorns and lollipop fucking candy canes and shit growing out of the ground. And just more of an, uh, uh, a, a zen stage, but an intense zen stage. Way more intense than uh, marijuana can ever get you to. Kind of just, you feel energy, you feel more intertwined with nature and the world around you. Everything's more defined. Colors are vibrant, more vibrant. You know, it's a completely different experience, and you just laugh at everything. And um, that's what a mushroom trip is usually like. I mean, if you take a ton of mushrooms, just like maybe I don't know, a lot more than an eighth, because an eighth will get you to a to that stage pretty quickly. But if you take more than that, you might have some more intense hallucinations. I've taken more than an eighth before, and I haven't really come across the whole unicorn leprechaun thing, but I have come in contact with some pretty weird, strange things while on mushrooms. And, um, this brings me to DMT. Now, DMT is a class 5 hallucinogen, the strongest hallucinogen known to man. It can be found in almost every living organism, even grass. And, um, what we call dreams are actually intense DMT trips. Um, you see we have a gland called the, uh, the pineal gland in the center of the brain. It's about the size of a grain of rice, I believe. And it produces an extremely large amount of DMT while you dream. Way more than the effective dose. And um, uh, it's essentially the third eye. You know, if anybody's into that Buddha, Buddhist... Um, uh, meditation kind of thing. It's the third eye. Um, well, anyway, if you smoke DMT, all I can say is that you need to be ready for the things that you're about to come in contact with. It's not just something you're like, oh man, let's go smoke some DMT and have a fun time. No, this is a journey, man. This is a journey. And you need to be ready for this journey. You can't just smoke DMT and think you're going to go have a fun time and be able to come out of it like it was just some fun little experience. No, you need a you need to have smoked pot to the psych, to a uh, psychedelic level and you need to have tried mushrooms, at least mushrooms before you've done DMT because DMT is mind-blowing. It's just a mind fuck, complete mind fuck.